late November, we are all pilgrims and Indians as we celebrate and give thanks for life's blessings. We remember those hardy souls in the cold climb of Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1621 as they celebrated what we have all learned was the first Thanksgiving. But what if what we've been taught isn't completely true? And the first Thanksgiving was actually celebrated by the Spanish here in sunny Florida many decades earlier. St. Augustine has a legitimate claim to say that there was a first Thanksgiving here well before that date that the pilgrims celebrated the first Thanksgiving. When the city was founded on September 8, 1565, there are records that show that a Thanksgiving feast was both celebrated in the sacrament of the Eucharist and then with uh, foods that were shared by the Spanish uh, colonists as well as the Native Americans. Father Tom Willis is the pastor of the Cathedral Basilica of St. Augustine, which is the oldest parish in America, tracing its lineage directly back to that September day in 1565. Pedro Menendez was the founder of the city of St. Augustine, and he was actually given what we would call a contract from the uh, Spanish crown to settle this part, the eastern seaboard of what we now know as Florida. Menendez decided to settle here. A small expedition came on shore to celebrate mass, and we know from the diary of the priest who celebrated that first Mass, Father Francisco Mendoza de Grajales, that when Menendez came on shore on September 8, 1565, he not only claimed the uh, area for his Spain, but also then kissed the cross in thanksgiving for the sacrifices that had been made on the voyage across the waters there was this table fellowship of some sorts, um, that there were a lot of foods, not only that the uh, Menendez expedition had carried over on the ships that were brought out, but that even the natives then brought from their storehouses in order to help in this great feast that apparently was uh, consumed in common by both the Spanish and the Native Americans that were here in the area. The food that the Spaniards and Indians shared was much different than the food we associate with Thanksgiving today, and probably consisted of salted pork from the ship's stores along with local native delicacies. The whole story begins in what we now call the United States of America began here. Dr. Michael Gannon, who is a preeminent historian and it was the first to really say quite publicly that the first Thanksgiving occurred in St. Augustine. And I love his line in his book where it says that St. Augustine was already undergoing urban renewal by the time the first Thanksgiving happened up in Plymouth. St. Augustine has a long history going well before the English arrived on the shores of the United States. So why have generations of Americans been taught that the first Thanksgiving occurred in Massachusetts 56 years later? Because uh, the victors get to write the history books and uh, very often the uh, English were the ones who were the victors here in the United States. The British mind has influenced our history books. In many respects, I hope that one of these days if we can't at least set the record straight, we'll at least be able to find a way for both stories to live alongside each other.